Hey yo everybody, um, today I want to make a video that's a little bit different from my normal videos. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be way different from my normal videos, but I felt that I needed to address this since it's been on my mind for about the past two days. Today I'd like to discuss my gripes and concerns with the payload maps in Overwatch and hopefully shed light to players and let them know how these maps actually work. Alright, so quick rundown of how payload maps work. You have one team attacking, one team defending. First round attackers attack first, second round attackers attack second, and defense is vice versa. Alright, so the basic topic of concern in this video is actually morale. I'm going to be discussing morale and how it works and how it interacts with attack and defense on payload maps. If you haven't all realized already by the toxicity in the community, morale is a huge, 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 huge thing in determining whether you win or lose a game. And for those of you who don't know, morale is generally the mental state of your team and how determined they are to win. Now that we know the basics of morale and payload maps, let's jump into my first topic point that I'd like to discuss. Alright, so my first topic point is going to be first round attack versus second round attack. Uh, it's pretty much my only topic point, but you know, <laughs> it branches out into a few smaller little things that you can discuss. So basically, this is going to be a video about first round attack versus second round attack, not attack versus defense, just to make that clear. So, what are the advantages of first round attack? In general, first round attackers will not lose morale until the round is actually over. And for each point that the attackers gain, their morale will increase exponentially. As for the first round defenders, they can only lose morale. Their morale will decay for each point that the attackers gain. I think that we can all agree that usually the first round attackers will gain the first point, no matter what happens, just in general for the sake of simplicity. So at this point, the attackers gain morale and the defenders lost morale, and at, usually at this point, I would say that they are equal. So if the first round attackers gain the first point, but were stopped before the second point, generally the second round attackers will know that they only have to capture the first point, push a little bit, and then they can win the game. But usually the breaking point for morale, you know, on the defender side, is when the attackers gain the second point. It's usually at this point that, you know, the defenders start realizing that when it comes for their turn to attack, they're going to be way less motivated by the overwhelming odds of having to push two points. Now, I know that sounds a little bit silly, but this goes back to my point of morale decay. Now, if you've played Overwatch competitive, I can guarantee you've all experienced the feeling of almost perfectly defending the first point and then having the first round attackers take it from you. And then after they take that point, they completely steamroll the game and set your entire team on tilt. And because they can't lose morale until the game's actually over, they can harvest the momentum that they gained from the first point and apply it to their gameplay. And usually after this happens, the second round attackers generally will not have any morale at all or any enthusiasm to capturing all three points after getting completely steamrolled. Even though setting gameplay skill aside, both teams on attack have equal opportunity to gain the points. Alright, so a quick TLDR. First round attackers generally have the advantage in gaining morale and second round attackers will have usually lost quite a bit of morale before they even start playing their turn on attack. This obviously eventually leads to a little bit of unbalanced gameplay between the two teams, which generally are evenly matched. So this is really just my concern with payload maps in general, but I hope this video enlightened you a little bit and helped you to gain a little bit of knowledge on payload maps, and good luck in your future games.